Hello there folks, you join me on the Isle of Skye, on the Skye Trail. I've just put my tent up because I'm really tired and this is pretty much near the end of the first stage. I put it up just before the end. Um, there is actually a hostel and campsite further down, but I, I prefer to camp here. The view is better probably and it's nice and peaceful. I've got enough water and drink and food. Uh, yeah, my tent's down there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, over there tomorrow is where I'm going to be walking over that tomorrow I believe and uh, that's nice and wind sheltered down there by the way and this is what I love about Scotland um, in the highlands generally speaking you're allowed to put your, your camp put your tent up um, a small backpacking tent like this uh, if there's a small group of you no more than you know, I think there's a certain amount of people has to be you can't go over a certain amount of people but um, generally speaking uh, uh, this is okay and uh, I've up to two nights uh, camping normally you're supposed to uh, camp out of a few of um, houses and stuff but this is a trail and I don't think and I've camped in the uh, Western Isles before and they seem okay about it um, I'm not going to leave a mess or anything so you know, respect the land and all that and um but this is what i love about scotland you can you can do this you just put your tent up and it's really relaxed um there's i don't think there's that many places in the world you can do that um and i've been to um new zealand's a really absolutely stunning place but unfortunately they're really really anal about um just putting your tent up in uh, national parks, I think, and um, and uh, farm. You know, there's a lot of farmland there actually in New Zealand, and um, some of the trails, like the uh, TA trail, goes through. And um, even just going through land, like it's a problem. Like uh, they, uh, farmers don't like you walking through their land, and at least in um, Scotland and especially England, you got rights away. I think they got rights away in Scotland now as well. They've updated the law. I'm pretty sure someone told me. Um, but uh, yeah, in England there's rights away. In England you can't actually, you're not officially not allowed to do this, but you can. I, you know, I always put my tent up, even on farms. Um, as long as you pick it up early in the morning, it's all right. But here, yeah, I can stay for two days and they're really cool about it. And just check out that view. Like this is like, um, the northern end of Sky and the end of the first the first stage almost at, um, on the Sky Trail and the view is stunning and um, you know I think um, I personally think out of all the countries I've been hiking Scotland is my favourite um, it might not be I mean it might not be the most remote place in the world but it has a remote enough feeling to really appreciate it and you've got some lovely old ruins of castles houses and ancient monuments um, and the uh, coastline is just it's stunning it's you know like um this is just i mean there's some incredible coastline around scotland the whole of britain in fact um i mean there's some incredible places in britain you know like in england and wales i, I mean you don't actually have to go abroad um but I, I love going abroad you know i love seeing different cultures and going abroad and adventuring uh but to be honest um my favorite place in the world for hiking and adventure is definitely scotland every time like when i, when I go away and um you have all these rules saying you can't camp here you can't do this you can't do that i always think oh man in scotland's so much more relaxed than this and yeah so if um i definitely recommend people coming to britain you know britain as well because you can't you can really just put your tent up in the national parks in britain in england as well and in wales like nobody says anything i mean as long as you respect the land it's okay i think so um yeah i definitely recommend an adventure holiday in britain um it, it's like some incredible places in britain really some really amazing places um every time i go away i always miss this this freedom you get in britain which um hopefully we don't lose um and if, if they do try to take it away from us we should definitely fight it because we should never let them take this freedom away from us i don't think which i'm sure 
I'm sure they would love to, some of them. So, uh, yeah, definitely come to Britain. It's an absolutely amazing place for an adventure. Thank <laughs> you.